Hello and welcome back to the Sea Morning Show. Now we're going to talk about some things that I really like because beauty in women is an important aspect in their life uh, because they take it as a sign of identification and also womanhood. Now, this type, typical thing <laughs> that I really love, and I have lots of it, earrings <laughs> make women look very pretty, fashionable, and also trendy because uh, they add charm to their appearance. That's right, and as you can see, we both wear earrings as well. <laughs> and in front of us, there's a lot of earrings as well. But do you have any favorite earrings? Um, I think I always go with the classic ones, yes. like the gold loop that I'm, I'm wearing now. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, because it made me like... I feel, um, you know, some quite um, simple so that mm -hmm. I can add more things into my appearance. How right. about you? I actually also like the classic ones, like the pearl stud earrings, uh, the round one, the pearl ones. Yeah. But right now, what I'm wearing is actually an in traditional Indonesian oh, earring called subeng, subeng. Uh, which is where the back uh, back area, yeah. back part is actually like uh, larger than the front area. Yeah. It's usually used by people in Bali, and you can found in a lot of uh, events, yeah. festivals in Bali, where women wear um, kebaya, yeah, with and then with subang as well. That's so it's lovely. really interesting. Yes, and also today in our studio is joining us Jocelyn Rich from Kuping ID, who will share her experience and skill to make beautiful earrings. Good morning, Jocelyn. Thank Good you morning. so much for joining yes. with us. Hello. Good morning. How are you today? I'm good. You look so great. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe first I want to ask about the earrings that you're wearing. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually a Squidward home. Ah, <laughs> I love SpongeBob. Like, yes. Uh, so like oh, it's, yes, right. uh, it's the home. So like you know, it's kind of cute to make this kind of uh, series. Yeah. <laughs> So what's the story behind Cooping.id? Uh, what sparked your interest in creating a venture about earrings? Uh, so back then when I was a teenager, um, I, uh, I have a lot of earrings and I like mm. to mix and match them. Mm. And then um, in, when I was in a uni, um, I found out that I love arts and crafts. So the idea of combining two uh, things that I like, uh, like um, you know, like the idea of make mm. the earrings itself, like mm -hmm. it's exciting. Uh, it's very exciting. It's now, very exciting. By the way, I have a uh, questions because if you open your her Instagram account, cooping.id mm. at Instagram, the design are so unique. <laughs> there are like sometimes dogs or houses yeah. or many other um, uh, 3D yes. sort of forms, yeah. right? Uh, what? inspire you to make such a unique earrings? Um, it's uh, the, the inspiration is usually come from the things that I like and okay. also it's um, the things that I saw day on day. Mm. I see and that's why you made this yes. um, Spongebob uh, home. Uh, Squidward. It's actually Squidward. But, but do you have the Spongebob ones? Because um, I Spongebob also. Uh, no, I don't have the <laughs> but I do have the Patrick stars. Hey! Oh, yeah! Oh, we have Patrick right. here! Hi! Alright, now I also want to know when did you start your business? Um, so it started in 2018. Mm -hmm. So back then when I was, uh, when I'm still working as a full-time job. Mm -hmm. So I always wanted to have a side business. Mm -hmm. And then um, one day, um, I found a um, polymer clay artist from Singapore on mm -hmm. Instagram. Mm -hmm. So like she's kind of inspired me. And then like, you know, that time that I thought that um, mm, I can make it. Uh, can and make then like, it. you know, I did some research and do mm. some uh, did some experiments. Then like, I think that, mm, I think that, you know, like it's, <laughs> I can sell it. And then like, yeah, that's how it started. I see. Now, um, I also want to know about your customers, you know, mm -hmm. um, which, uh, what drawn them to your design? Um, it's mostly because of the cuteness. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, like it's a random things that uh, it's, um, we can see like there's yeah. a mm -hmm. coffee cup, there's a peanut and then like mm -hmm. Indonesian kerupuk. Oh, my oh, God. oh so this cute. one is kerupuk. Oh, oh my God. So if you 
you buy um, things from Kuping, I don't think you will buy only one. I think you can buy the whole yeah. thing. Yeah, because it's a collectible right? item. That's right. Yeah. That's a good point. Now, we are going to learn making some earrings. But before we begin, can you tell us a bit about the materials? You mentioned polyamer or something? Um, it's, a base, uh, it's a polymer clay. Mm -hmm. So um, it's almost the same like uh, the material wise is uh, mixtures of from the PVC and resins and the other kind of like plastic. Mm -hmm. okay. um, but then like it's very different with the um, uh, pottery clay with our like Eldrick clay because like there's a lot of clay out mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. um, this polymer clay is very um, famous because of like it's very durable, it's mm. very light, mm. and you know well, when uh, we uh, when we baked it, uh, so like it need to be baked after oh, that. Okay. Um, it's very durable and like mm. you know uh, it will not broken if it falls. Mm. I see. All right. So let's jump into the process because I really want to know how you make these cute earrings because maybe one day I want to make one too. Yeah, <laughs> sure, sure. Um, today I want to make an Indonesian, uh, the most famous sandal. Like it's oh. a sandal. Oh, and a okay. Sandal swallow. Yeah. So, <laughs> Because like it's very famous, so like um, so let, I already prepare uh, the color. Okay. Like there's a blue and a white one, and the, there's a cookie cutter. Okay. So first of all, I need to cut the shape, the of the sandal first, like okay. the blue color. So how long will it take for you to make? Um, it one depends one. on the size and the details. Oh. So usually, the more details is gonna be the longer it takes. Mm. So, average-wise? Average-wise uh, is around mm, one or two hours. One or oh, two hours. Oh, that's yeah. Okay. For a pair of earrings or, or, or one? Um, a pair of earrings. A pair of earrings, okay. I see it now. So, Where I already make the, ba okay. the base of mm -hmm. the sandal. Oh, so, you, you want to make those very tiny... Oh, okay. I just have to wait and see. <laughs> I don't have to guess. <laughs> so, okay, now you're making the uh, the upper part of the base of the sandal. Oh, okay. because, because the base is usually white, right? Yeah. And Can I yeah. ask about the price, Jesslyn? Um, it start from a hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. It also uh, depends on the size that uh, you know. Uh, of the polymer clay itself. Okay, so the more intricate yep. um, the design, it'll be expensive. more expensive. Yep. Okay. And speaking of design, do you have recommendation mm -hmm. or suggestion for choosing uh, the design based on your face shape, perhaps? Okay, for uh, there's a few of type of faces. Mm -hmm. um, there's a round shape of face. Um, and I will suggest you to avoid another round shape of earring mm. because like it's gonna make you look round, the face look rounder. Mm -hmm. So um, I suggest you to use um, more like um, dangle earring. Mm -hmm. Dangle. Uh -huh. And then for the square and rectangle uh, shape faces, I will recommend you to use um, dangle earring. But you know, avoid another uh, geometrical shapes of right. it's gonna make your face is more like you know sharper. Right. Can I try the fortune cookie one? Fortune cookie. Oh shape. my god, that is so okay. cute. So you basically have to pick a design shape that contradicts your face shape. Yeah. So that it balances it out. Yeah. Pro pro oh, so you have to know your face shape first, and then you can choose what kind of earrings that. Oh my god, suitable. so. By the way, the designer is so cute. There's a gingerbread as well. I know, like right? Christmas type. But I chose the fortune cookie one. Why? Because I want to have a good fortune in my life. <laughs> For good luck. For good luck. Sure. We are all okay. lucky. So, can I have a mirror here? Okay, no. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll try it out. Uh, yeah, it brightens up my face, you know. I'm going to try as well. <laughs> Let's see. Most of the design and the colors, gonna, Cute one. Uh, it helps you to pop the... Yeah. yeah. And you can actually just wear some casual clothes and then yeah, accessorize right. with this cute earrings. Oh my god, look at it. It's so cute. I want to try the coffee. 
if you want because I cannot live without, <laughs> without coffee. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of like a personal statement yeah, tool know, as right? well, you know? Yeah. Like when you wear it, uh, people would assume, right? That yeah. you have some connection with the shape. So Are I'm, you done? Yes, I'm oh done. Oh my god. Oh, wow. And then we need to bake it, it so and small. this is the end result. Oh wow, it's so cute. Wow, okay. So, um, Jasmine, do you have any tips on um, how to start a business like this? Because you're doing it by hands, right? Yeah. This is this is your craft. So, what what kind of tips that you can offer for those um, who wants to do this? First of all, my suggestion are uh, do some research first before you buy the tools and materials. And then, um, secondly, mm -hmm. uh, after that, you are pretty sure that you want to do it. And uh, just uh, you know, if you just buy it and then learn um, how to pers uh, the process, the polymer clay itself, mm -hmm. and then you know, um, experiment. Eh? No, yeah, experiment to know uh, the nature of the polymer clay itself. Mm -hmm. And then the third, after that, uh, after that, you know, um, after after experimenting that you know or uh, the material mm -hmm. natures. Um, you can just you know call, uh, make a mood board to know mm. your style Aww. and then your yeah. preferences. Mm -hmm. So it helps you to make you know what kind of um, earring that you like. Yeah. And then uh, the fourth, um, after uh, if you are think that you are ready, you know like the product is uh, ready to sell, it's just just do it because do you know um, don't lose hope like mm. you know because um, just keep going mm. and the market will uh, grow on later. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually also show. wondering, uh, who's your target audience? What do they like? Um, most of them is uh, from kids. Mm. Uh, because, you know, uh, their parents, uh, they like the cute stuff. You know, yes. Yeah. If you're a child. And the mothers bought for the daughters. Um, and then <laughs> uh, there's also uh, the old people. I think mm. it's like you know the um, recently the the pet's earring is more uh, famous for, for the latest uh, mm. one year. I always do the customized um, earrings for pets. Yeah, for pets. Yeah. So you, you can actually like take your pet's uh, picture and make it. Oh, that's yeah. cute. So it, it can be customized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I will send some pictures of my <laughs> pets to you. Sure. sure. <laughs> now, thank you so much okay. for coming, Jesslyn, and good luck for mm -hmm. your business mm -hmm. because this is very cute. Mm -hmm. And I think um, what made me uh, want to buy all this cute stuff is because it's mood setting, you know. Yes. It's, it sets my mood into a better mood and it's uplifting. Yes, and also you're reminded by the things you like. Like for example, I love coffee. <laughs> I cannot live without it again, I said it again. And just having that reminder that I put in my body, I feel like it's a reminder, it's a good feeling trigger, yeah. you know. Yeah, and add some colors into your yes, life. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Alright, now let's take a break, but we will have more updates from around the world when we return so stay with us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jocelyn.